Bonjour, adventure seekers. Join us on this virtual journey through the stunning landscapes and vibrant culture of Nice and the French Riviera. Whether you're craving beachside bliss or cultural delights, this video is your passport to an unforgettable experience. Three things before we begin. All the sites and day trips, all the tours and so forth are gonna be listed in the description field. All you'll have to do is click on the hyperlinks and book your individual tours that I mentioned here in today's video. Second, if you want everything that I covered in a PDF form for you, you can click on that hyperlink also in the description field and feel free to download my free Nice French Riviera PDF. Third, I look forward to earning your like and positive comments below. Let's begin. History, ancient origins. Nice's history dates back to ancient times. It was originally founded by the Greeks around 350 BC, who named it Nikea, after Nike, the goddess of victory. This area was later settled by the Lingurians, a Celtic tribe. Roman rule. Nice came under Roman rule in the second century, becoming an important regional center. During this time, it flourished as a trading port and enjoyed relative prosperity. Medieval period. In the Middle Ages, Nice went through a series of changes in governance, often switching between various powers, including the Counts of Providence, the Republic of Genona, and the House of Savoy. House of Savoy. In the 14th century, Nice became under the House of Savoy's territory. The city remained under Savoyard rule for several centuries, though it was frequently contested by other powers, including France. French annexation. Nice was finally annexed by France in 1860, following the Treaty of Turin. This was a result of Nice joining France. Prior to that, Nice was one of the Italian states before the Italian unification. So before the Italian unification, Nice actually left and joined France with the vote. Modern era. Following the incorporation into France, Nice experienced rapid growth and development, particularly as a tourist destination. The city became renowned for its mild climate, stunning coastlines, and vibrant cultural scene, attracting visitors from around the world. 20th century, Nice faced challenges during the 20th century, including periods of economic downturn and World War II. However, it saw periods of renewal and prosperity, particularly in the later half of the century as tourism boomed and the city became a hub for art, culture, and international events. Today, Nice stands as one of the most iconic cities in the French Riviera. Celebrated for its beauty, history, and unique blend of Mediterranean and French culture. Airport and train stations. Nice, being a major city and popular tourist destination, has both international airport and train stations. And Nice Côte d'Azur is the number one airport in the French Riviera. It not only serves Nice, but the entire French Riviera in the south of France, located about seven kilometers outside the city center. It is one of the busiest airports in France, offering domestic and international flights. Gare de Nice is the train station that services Nice. It is the primary train station there. It's actually located in the city center. It offers many destinations across France, including Paris, Marseille, and Lyon. And it's also a port and stop for the TGV, which is the high-speed train. These transportation hubs play a crucial role in facilitating travel to and from Nice, making it accessible by air or train for both tourists and locals alike. Orientation. Orientation of Nice can be pretty much straightforward since it's along the French Riviera in France. But here's a brief overview. Coastal orientation. Nice is situated along the southeastern coast of France, bordering the Mediterranean Sea. The coastline runs east to west, with the city center positioned closer to the eastern edge of the bay. Promenade des Anglais. This iconic promenade stretches along the waterfront of Nice, running parallel to the coastline. It serves a major landmark and orientation point, offering scenic views of the sea and access to many of the city's beaches, hotels, and attractions. Old Town. To the east of the promenade lies the historic Old Town of Nice. Characterized by narrow winding streets, colorful buildings, and charming squares, the Old Town is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. City Center. The heart of Nice is located just north of the promenade and extends inland from the coastline. 
This area is home to many shops, restaurants, hotels, and cultural institutions, including the Place Messina, a bustling square at the center of the city. Castle Hill, rising from the eastern end of the old town is the Castle Hill. Although the castle no longer stands, the hill offers panoramic views of Nice and the surrounding areas, making it a popular spot for visitors. Navigating Nice is generally easy, with the coastline providing a natural reference point. The city's compact size also makes it convenient to explore on foot, with many attractions and walking distance from each other. Sleeping. When it comes to accommodations in Nice, there are plenty of options to suit your various preferences and budgets. Hotels. Nice boasts a wide range of hotels from luxury establishments along the promenade to boutique hotels tucked away in the winding streets of the old town. These hotels offer amenities such as comfortable rooms, on-site dining, and often stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea. Hostels. For budget-friendly travelers and backpackers, hostels provide affordable accommodation options. There are several hostels located in and around the city center offering dormitory-style rooms as well as private rooms. Hostels are a great way to meet fellow travelers and save money on lodging. Vacation rentals. Many visitors to Nice opt for a vacation rental, such as an apartment or a villa, especially if they are planning longer stay for traveling with a group. These rentals can be found throughout the city and offer convenience of a home away from home experience with amenities like kitchens and living areas. Bed and breakfast, also known as B&Bs. For a more intimate and personalized experience, consider staying at a B&B in Nice. These charming accommodations are often located in historic buildings and offer cozy rooms and homemade breakfasts. Regardless of your preference, it is advisable to book accommodations in advance, especially during peak tourist seasons, such as the spring, summer, and early fall. Also, additionally, consider factors such as locations, amenities, and reviews when choosing a place to stay in Nice. Eating. Eating in Nice is a delightful experience, offering a diverse array of, of culinary delights that reflect the city's Mediterranean location and cultural influences. For example, as I mentioned in the history section at the intro of this video, Nice was part of the Italian states before the Italian unification. It left the Italian states before the unification and joined France. So in Nice, even though it's in France, obviously it's gonna have the French cuisine influence, but make no bones about it, there is a lot of Italians there and a lot of Italian restaurants. So you actually get both and some Northern Africa influences. Local cuisine, sample traditional cuisines, like I mentioned before. In addition to that, you have salads, you have savory onion tarts, and you have what's called soca, which I listed here, a chickpea flour pancake, very delicious. Outdoor markets, explore the city's vibrant outdoor markets. In the Old Town area, you'll get fresh produce, local cheeses, artisan bread, and other regional specialties. It's a great way to immerse yourself in the local cuisine. Bistros, enjoy a casual meal in one of Nice's many bistros where you can savor French classics like steaks and fries to hearty meals. Seafood restaurants indulge in the freshest seafood of one of Nice's seafood restaurants, many of which are located along the waterfront, feast on grilled fish, traditional fish stew, seafood platters, brimming with oysters, shrimp, and crab. International cuisines, Nice is a cosmopolitan city, diverse cultural scene. As I mentioned, you have a lot of French, Italian influence, and also um, Northern Africa influence. Um, you can get pizza, you can get Moroccan food, and you can even get Japanese sushi. Do I really have to show you a picture of French pastries? Fine dining experience. For a special occasion or memorable dining experience, consider booking a table at one of Nice's Michelin-starred restaurants. These establishments offer innovative and refined cuisine crafted by talented chefs, accompanied by impeccable service and elegant surroundings. Um, as a side note here, France has more Michelin star rated restaurants than anywhere else in the world. Whether you're dining at a humble table or a Michelin star restaurant, dining in Nice is a sure to be a highlight in your visit, offering a delicious taste of the city's rich culinary heritage. 
sites. In Nice, there are numerous sites and attractions to explore, ranging from historic landmarks to scenic viewpoints. Here are some must-see sites in the city. Promenade d'Anglais. This iconic waterfront promenade stretches along the Bay of Angels and offering stunning views of the Mediterranean Sea. Take a leisurely stroll, rent a bike, or simply relax on one of the many beaches along the promenade. And like I said in the beginning, I put a hyperlink to book your tour in the description field. Old Town, wander through the narrow cobblestone streets of the Old Town where you'll find colorful buildings, charming squares, and historic landmarks. Again, that tour is also listed in the description field. Castle Hill, climb up the Castle Hill for a panoramic views of Nice and surrounding coastlines. Although the castle no longer stands, the hilltop park features lush gardens, cascading waterfalls, and the remains of the ancient fortifications. That link is also in the description field. Plaza Messina, this central square is a hub of activity in Nice, surrounded by grand Belle Epoque buildings, fountains, and sculptures. It's a great place for people watch, attend events, or simply soak up the atmosphere. That link is also in the description field. The Matze Museum. Art lovers shouldn't miss this museum Matze dedicated to the works of French artist Henri Matze. Housed in the 17th century villa, the museum showcases a diverse collection of paintings, sculptures, and drawings spanning from Matze's career. I recommend purchasing your tickets at the door. The Russian Orthodox Cathedral. Admire the striking architecture of the Russian Orthodox Cathedral also known as St. Nicholas Orthodox Cathedral. Built in the early 20th century, this ornate cathedral features colorful onion domes and intrinsic interior decorations. I recommend purchasing the tickets at the door. Marc Chagall National Museum, another cultural gem in Nice, is the Musée National Marc Chagall, dedicated to the works of the Russian French artist Marc Chagall. The museum houses a large collection of Chagall's works, including his famous biblical message series. I also recommend purchasing the tickets at the door. Nice Archaeological Museum, dwell into the city's ancient past at the Musée de Archaeological de Nice, which showcases archaeological artifacts from prehistoric times to the Middle Ages. Highlights include Roman ruins, Greek pottery, and ancient artifacts. I also recommend purchasing tickets at the door. These are just a few of the many sites and attractions awaiting visitors in Nice. Whether you're interested in history, art, or simply soaking up the Mediterranean sun, there's something for everyone in this beautiful city. Here we are in Nice. As you know from my previous travel videos, I like to do the record screenshot using Google Maps. Historically, I've covered um, I cover this section within the day sites. I decided to, for the first time doing the Nice video to actually break it out to a separate section within my uh, first time in Nice video, the essential guide. And one of the things I did differently here too, um, compared to other major cities I've done, like you know Florence, Rome, Barcelona, is um, I like to color code these um, using day by day. So day one would be color one color, day two maybe a different color and so forth. In this particular case, um, I color code it with the attractions, the hotel, and some of the restaurants that I went to. And the reason why I did that is because you can pretty much cover this in really one day. Um, I broke it up into several days. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to show you where all the major sites are. And um, this is just a regular map. And if you look here, I'll change the base map to the view that I like whoops makes it easier to see you can barely see it but here you have the blue that's that's where I happen to stay the hotel uh, Germaldi and that's right in the heart of the city um, walking distance to the promenade down below here to the water walking distance um, to Old Town and of course if you want to walk around the general of the city and, and head up to the train station. You can do that also from so it's a nice little central location. Um, but here, if you start going up to the north, which I recommend maybe taking um, you know, a cab ride and, or some sort of ride share, you have the Mark Chagall uh, Museum up here and you continue to go head up. You have um, the Matze Museum, which is the furthest. So the two museums that I went to um, are tend to be farther away. The three restaurants, 
Here I ate at my birthday right next to the hotel, uh, Michelin star rated Le Sejour. And then here you have La Octopussy, which I don't think is um, in existence anymore. And then you have Casa Nisa. So all depends on what sections that you happen to be in. Um, and then when I, of course, when I was in Old Town, um, I actually grabbed a slice of pizza. I believe the restaurant was generally in this area here, but um, Old Town is is this whole area in, in here. And then you have the promenade, which is right by the water, um, a real famous walk. Besides exploring every street in the Old Town area, I recommend walking up and down this promenade um, both day and night. Same thing too with the Jean uh, Medician, as I mentioned here earlier, this is a famous street with high-end um, shopping. And at night, it's fantastic, it's beautiful. Walk it during the day, especially the Old Town area. I would walk that at night and during the day. So what I did is I, I actually came in on day one, flew in, walked around. Actually, I remember now on day one, usually I walk around the city, but here I, I wanted to absolutely eat since I actually came in on my birthday. Um, so I enjoyed the uh, nice dinner there. But the next day, spent several time here in the Old Town, walked the promenade, did the usual uh, sights. Um, on a different day, I saw some um, museums that I pointed out to you earlier. You can also split um, one day I, when I did um, the Chagall Museum, I did that in the morning, and then I took off and spent the second half of the day in, in Monaco and had a fantastic time there too. Also did a half a day in Villafranche and Ez and enjoyed, enjoyed some time there came back to Nice and, and spent some time at night. Um, so it was roughly about four nights or so that I spent. I actually grouped it into a Provence um, vacation, which I actually did four or five nights over there too. So kind of combination of uh, 10 plus days, if you will. And I'll do a separate video um, on that. So hopefully this is a big help in actually planning on where you want to stay and also uh, seeing some of the sites that, that I did. <music> Shopping. Shopping in Nice offers a diverse range of experiences, from luxury boutiques to bustling markets. Here are some shopping destinations to explore in the city. Avenue Jean Medicine. This bustling shopping street is one of the main arteries of Nice's city center, lined with shops, department stores, and cafes. It's a destination for both locals and visitors seeking fashion, accessories, and more. Old Town. Explore the charming streets of the Old Town where you find an array of boutique shops selling locally made goods, artisan crafts, and souvenirs. And don't miss the Lively Flower Shop, which also features stalls selling antiques, artworks, and local delicacies. Galleries Lafayette. Located on the avenue of Jean Medicine, Galleries Lafayette is a renowned department store offering a wide selection of fashion, beauty, and home goods from both the French and international brands. It's a great place to shop for luxury items and designer labels. Nice Etoile, another popular shopping mall in Nice, is the Nice Etoile, conveniently situated on the same street. This modern mall features a variety of shops, including clothing stores, electronic retailers, and supermarkets. In addition to the market stalls in the Old Town is home to the vibrant antique market held on Mondays. Browse through a treasure of trove of vintage items, collectibles, and unique finds. High-end boutiques. For luxury shopping, head to the Golden Square District located near the Promenade. Here you'll find upscale designer boutiques and prestigious brands such as Chanel, Louis Vuitton, and Hermes. Day trips. Nice serves as an excellent base for exploring the beautiful French Riviera and the surrounding region. Here are some enticing day options coming from Nice. Monaco, just a short drive or train ride away. Monaco is a glamorous city-state known for its casinos, luxury yachts, and picturesque harbor. Explore the attractions such as the Princess Palace, Monte Carlo Casino, and the Oceanographic Museum. Also, I listed some pictures here. There's me right outside the Monte Carlo Casino. There I am in the courtyard outside of the casino. You see the city view in the back. Here you have the red carpet along all the shops. And of course, I got to get a shot of the beautiful ocean and the yachts floating on the water. In the description field, I listed four tours, one with the Ocean Museum. Also, I listed Nice to Monaco Round Trip Ferry, the French Riviera Tour, and then from Nice Tour. 
Cannes, famous for its annual film festival. Cannes is a, another nearby destination worth visiting. Stroll along the iconic promenade, explore the historic town, and relax on the city's pristine beaches. I listed a hyperlink in the description field there too. Antibes, located between Nice and Cannes, Antibes is a charming coastal town with a rich history and stunning views. Visit the Picasso Museum, stroll through the vibrant market, and admire all the yachts in the harbor. Also listed a tour in the description field. Ez Village, perched high top a cliff overlooking the Mediterranean Sea. Ez Village is a picturesque medieval village with narrow cobblestone streets, breathtaking views, and explore the botanical gardens at the top. I also listed two hyperlinks there in the description field for tours. And let's take a look at some of the pictures I posted. The first one is there I am in between the cobble streets in front of the sign for the garden up on top, walking in. And of course, you gotta get the shots when you're up on the top of the garden, see the clouds in the background, more stunning views of the ocean from the top. I think I got carried away here, but oh well. <laughs> there I am with the sun in the background. Another great photo with a French flag in the background. St. Paul de Vence, renowned for its artistic heritage and charming ambiance. It's a medieval hilltop village filled with art galleries, boutiques, and cafes. I listed a hyperlink in the description field for that tour. Grasse, known for its perfume capital of the world, Grasse is a delightful town nestled in the hills above Cannes. Visit perfume factories and learn more about perfume making process and create your own signature scent. Listed that tour in the description field. Villa France sur Mer, just a short train ride or bus journey from Nice. Villa France sur Mer is a picturesque seaside town with colorful buildings, a scenic harbor, and inviting beaches. Explore the historic old town and enjoy fresh seafood and waterfront restaurants. I listed three hyperlink for tours. One is the sightseeing cruise, French Riviera, and then from the Nice tour. I also listed some pictures of me being a cheese ball in town, there's me in front of the restaurant that I ate at. Fantastic lunch, Le Mer Germain. Took some pictures of me in the harbor. More photos of me in the harbor. Verdun George, an outdoor enthusiast, consider a day trip Vernon George, often referred to as the Grand Canyon of Europe. Located about two hours north of Nice, this stunning natural wonder offers opportunities for hiking, rock climbing, and kayaking amidst the breathtaking scenery. I put a hyperlink for a tour in the description field. These are just a few of many trips that you can do outside of Nice. Whether you're interested in exploring charming villages, relaxing on beautiful beaches, or immerse yourself in nature, the French Riviera offers something for everyone. Tips. Here are some helpful tips to make the most out of your visit in Nice. Plan ahead. We're all familiar about booking your hotels ahead of time, booking your flights ahead of time. I would definitely click on my hyperlinks book all your tours ahead of time you can get away with the Matt say and the, and the Chagall and, and the cathedral um, you can get away with those and, and waiting till you actually show up at the door to get those tickets and then go right in but all the other tours and bookings I would do ahead of time Nice is a small city so I would explore the whole city on foot with the exception of some of the the museums they're in the north part of the city you could date public transportation, but I wouldn't rent a car unless you're planning on exploring the whole area. As I mentioned earlier, you definitely gotta try local cuisine, when in Rome, or in this case, when in Nice. You wanna absolutely stay safe. Uh, Europe is notoriously known for its pickpocketers. Uh, as much as you can, instead of the back pocket, wallet in the back pocket, wallet goes in the front pocket. Passport, front pocket. Get like a little fanny pack, Keep it under your shirt, if you will. Keep all your personalized items in your front. Also, I know here in the States, we keep our cell phones out laying on the table when we're eating lunch or dinner. Do not do that over there. People can just run by, grab your phone, and take off. Same thing with your purse. People set their purse on a bag, uh, or excuse me, people put their purse on a chair next to them. They put their backpacks uh, on the chair right behind them. Do not do that. Store everything between your legs under the table. You may want to consider visiting off-peak hours. I went to Nice in December. It will rain on you, of course. Um, I combined it with the Provence trip. Of course, if you go in December, you don't get to, uh, you don't get to smell the lavender. That's more of a summer thing. Uh, the flip side is also true. Europe tends to, as a whole, shuts down in August. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of the Europeans go on vacation. So if you go in August, which is really hot, um, a lot of things may, may not be open. 
Also, what you want to do if you're doing uh, traveling in Nice during the hot times, I would consider the museum and the cathedral visits sometime after lunch during peak times. That way you stay cool inside while everybody else is suffering in the heat. You want to respect local customs. For example, people in France, they say bonjour. And here in the States, you could just walk up and start talking to someone. Sometimes we'll say excuse me at, to be polite, but the French are very notorious. You just don't go up and start talking to someone. You actually come up to them and say bonjour and get their attention. If you're going in the summer months, it will be hot. So you want to make sure you're staying hydrated. I wish everyone a wonderful time visiting Nice and the French Riviera, just like what I did. It is truly an exceptional experience. Great time relaxing, sightseeing, and just eating all the delightful food. Be sure to like this video and hit that subscribe button and feel free to download the free guide to Nice. Also in the description field is all my links to all the famous tours. And be sure to forward this video to a loved one.